first one likes to talk about faith uh, with lots of people. I get this question a lot. The question goes like this. Hasn't science disproved faith? H haven't the uh, achievements of science or the discoveries of science somehow disproved faith? And I always like to answer them like this. Uh, science has all of the proof, but no answers. And faith has all the answers, but no proof. What I mean to say is this. There's a lot that science can tell us that never really quite answers the question. Imagine you come home and you see flowers in a vase on the table. The question is, well, why are they there? Now we could look for this answer in a textbook and we could get lots of answers. The seed coat goes in the soil and the soil gets soft and a small little radical, which is kind of like this little shoot that comes out of the bottom, anchors its way into the soil and it pushes up the plant through the soil. and. As it comes up and it breaks into the sunlight, it's able to convert sunlight into glucose through the process of photosynthesis, and there are chloroplasts and xylem and phloem, and, and we could go on forever in that direction. But then your husband walks in and says he bought you this single flower just because he loves you so much. Now, that's such a sappy story, but the textbook definition, the textbook rendition had all kinds of proofs but no answers. But the sappy one had all kinds of answers, but no proof. So science has a lot to say, uh, a lot of exciting things to say about things that go on, whether it's in the stars, down to molecules. And, you know, I get jazzed about that kind of stuff because it's exciting to, to know what's happening, uh, to be able to observe what's going on in our universe. But to say that science has proved or disproved faith uh, is not scientific. Now there are a million things that science can tell us, but the one thing it can't is what's behind what we see. Ultimately, it's fascinating to know all the mechanics behind the bloom of a flower, but there's a reason we're drawn to the deeper question of why it even blooms in the first place. Since science only deals with what it observes, it has to back off from speculating about the intentions behind it. Since science can't even recognize things like purpose or intentions, it can't ever make a claim to have disproved faith. To say that science disproves faith is simply unscientific.